So I went to Target and I just wanted to show y'all what I got from Target. I picked up this salad spinner. I was gonna get it on Amazon, but then I looked on Amazon and it was $29.99. But at Target it was on sale, so it was $26.99, so $3 off. So I was like, why not? Let me get it because since Nick is gonna host Christmas, we're thinking about making pho and I think it'll come really handy when it comes to washing the vegetables. So yeah, we have this. And then I decided to get some Panoxyl and some different gel. I am trying to get rid of my acne on my chin that's covered up with makeup right now. I picked up Panoxyl because I heard really great things about this. I saw a CeraV, CeraVe, I don't know which way people pronounce it, I call it CeraV. But CeraVe also had a 10% um, benzoyl peroxide, which I was contemplating between getting that one or this one, but I was like, let me get this one because I heard more stuff about this one. The CeraV one is, I think, new. So I think if I finish this one and it works well, I'll switch over to CeraVe because CeraVe is like my go-to for skincare. It's very gentle on my skin. Everything that I use, I always fall back to um, using CeraVe. And then I also got different gel, which is Adapalene 0.1%. It is a retinoid. I was using Tretinoin, which is also another retinoid, but Tretinoin is, is a prescription, so you have to go to your dermatologist to prescribe to you. But then the side effects of Tretinoin was that it causes birth defects. I'm not trying to get pregnant anytime soon, but in the event that I do and I don't know, I just want to play it cautious. That is why I stopped using Tretinoin for the past couple of months now, and that is why I started breaking out again. And I have PCOS, so all my breakout happens on my chin, which is hormonal breakouts. So hopefully this will help this out. Um, in relation to that, I got peppermint tea which is supposed to be really good with individuals who have PCOS. I also got raspberry leaf tea. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe it's really good uh, with straightening the walls of your pelvic. Not that I'm planning on getting pregnant. Again, this is part of that wanting my body to be healthy and ready so that whenever I do decide to get pregnant, I don't run into any complications. But let me <laughs> tell y'all a really quick story real quick here. Okay. <laughs> So real quick story. So this is generally the tea that I drink, right? It is just green tea with mint. I always drink this. It doesn't matter what brand. It's always going to be green tea with mint. No story behind that one. Except I'm probably going to mix the peppermint in with this now. Because I think this is just mint flavoring. I don't think it's any like organic stuff. And this is organic. So there's that. Okay, so here's the story time, right? So I went to my parents' house, Nick didn't come with me, and he was doing a grocery run. So I told him, hey babe, can you pick up some organic raspberry leaf, okay? So he went to the store, and he bought me this, right? Which, you know, I come home and I look at it, I'm like, this isn't organic raspberry leaf tea, but hey, let me read the ingredients. Maybe it does have some kind of raspberry leaf in it. So I'm reading the ingredients, right? And the ingredients is rose hips, hibiscus, natural pomegranate, and raspberry flavor with other natural flavorings, orange leaf, apple pieces, and licorice root. And so I'm like, this isn't organic raspberry tea. Like, and I told him, I'm like, babe, this is not what I asked. And he's like, well, they didn't have organic raspberry tea, so I chose the closest thing. And I'm like, well, if they didn't have it, then just don't get it. Just tell me if they don't have it. That's it. So here I am forcing myself to drink this. And then this past weekend, I wanted to go run and grab a couple of things, but we didn't make it to the store. So Monday morning, he asked. Um, he was like, hey, I'm going to go to the grocery store. Let me know if you need anything. And it was early in the morning. It was like 7 in the morning. He let me sleep in while he did the grocery run. So I sent him the grocery list that I have been um, making the past couple of weeks. And on that grocery list was organic peppermint tea and raspberry tea. And then this fool, I swear, <laughs> this fool goes back with these two. <laughs> these two, the exact same thing of what I've been drinking. And 
I mean, I get it. Like, I always read this, so that's probably what he thought. I was like, oh, she wants, you know, to restock this one, which is fine. I always drink this. I like drinking this. It's fine. But then my logic was, why did he get this again? Like, I swear I told him that I didn't want this originally the week before. And then the week later, he goes and gets me the same exact thing. Like, it's not me open. And now I have to force myself to finish these two teas. I mean, they're not bad. It's like fruit juice, basically. But still, like, yeah. So, that is my two cents on that <laughs> confused but at least he tried right it's the thought that counts um but yeah my last item that i got from target is just um a two timer it is a crayon eyeliner on one side and then a felt tip liner on the other side um my felt tip has dried out so that doesn't work and then my crayon one disappear out of nowhere so i have not been wearing eyeliner as you can see the past couple of days weeks actually uh, but since it's getting closer to holidays i want to kind of stock up on my makeup i didn't buy no christmas decor i don't think we're gonna get any more christmas decor which is fine by me there's always next year it's every year to buy christmas decor so Hashtag trying to keep the minimal mindset uh, as much as I can and stop my consumerism as much as I can. But there are good days and there are bad days. But yeah, this is my haul about the adapting. I lie. I'm just now chat GBT it. And according to chat GBT, it's also not recommended um, if you're pregnant. Not that I'm pregnant, but it is the same risk as tretinoin so um should have done my research before i went out to buy it but it's fine i will use it up because i don't want to go back and return it <laughs> so i will use it up um just to test it out i'm not pregnant so i can still use it i'll be fine and about that eyeliner I tested it on my hand and now washed my hand and it literally disappeared. Now I'm like, darn it, I should have got a waterproof one because my eyes tend to get watery. Uh, so how much money was that wasted? Like maybe 20 bucks total for those two items? Always gonna be something. At least I can't blame Nick for not thinking because I wasn't thinking either, so. It is what it is, sadly. Several days later. It's Turkey weekend, also Hmong New Year weekend, and my nieces from Cali are in town. We went to the Hmong New Year yesterday and the day before that, and then today we're gonna go to the escape room. And I love, love, love escape rooms, especially the ones with performers. It's more interactive, it's more fun. I've been to two so far it's gonna be a third time going to a live actor escape room i'm so excited we did one of the escape rooms with nick's friends during the housewarming party and then last year we did an escape room with my other friends now as well um, both with live actors and it was so worth the money it is more expensive than the regular escape rooms i think the regular escape rooms are like $20, but then these escape rooms with live um, actors are, I think, 30 to 35 but honestly, it's worth it. So find your closest live actor escape rooms near you and go because you won't regret it. Several days later. Hello, friends. If you hear that in the background, that is my mini heater. I didn't turn on the heat because Nick is sleeping and he is a hot sleeper and that boy is going to be sweating. So I decided to bring down my mini heater instead. That's how much I love the boy. I freeze for him, you know what I'm saying? Anywho, I'm going to do my mood board for 2024. But first, I wanted to just reflect on 2023. Focusing on the good, obviously. <laughs> I think this year has been Nick's year. He has so many wins this year. He bought a new car, um, got a promotion at work, bought a house. And um, this year has been my losing year. 
um, lately, this past couple of years has been my losing year. I think the only thing that, you know, was the highlight of this year was I went to Costa Rica and then I moved in with Nick and my credit score went up. That's really about it. I want to show y'all some of my mood boards. So this is what I used to do. I used to just cut them out and put them on the wall. That is, I think, 2019, 2020, 2020, 2021. And then since then, I have been doing my mood boards virtually. So let me show y'all my 2022 one. This is my 2022. And then, this is my 2023 for this year. So I'm gonna start for next year. One hour later. Okay, so I finished my 2024 mood board here. You could use Canva, you could use any photo editing app you want that can make collages. I think what I noticed about this mood board compared to my other mood boards was my other mood boards were hustle, was making money, and now in 2024, it's more of good vibe, good energy, building relationships. And I think, you know, we grow, as we grow older, we start valuing different things in life. And yes, it's going to take money to live this lifestyle. But I think, you know, shifting that focus from money to relationship uh, will make my life feel a little bit more full. I know I've been sitting on this couch for who knows how long now. Um, just creating this mood board, talking my thoughts out loud. I don't know if any of them made any sense to anybody, but hopefully you could do your mood board as well just to set the intentions for the year. It doesn't have to be hardcore goals. It could just be inspiration. It could just be a vibe or an energy you want to put into 2024. But yeah, if you made it to the end of this video, you are the real MVP. Um, I know it was just me talking and sitting on my couch, but hopefully uh, you enjoyed it. And I will see y'all in the next one. Bye.